can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you guys 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 the build is gonna continue you guys smash that like button got the video 1200 likes so i guess in today's video we're gonna go ahead and slap on the m4 style fenders i don't like doing an m3 conversion that's why i'm pretty much doing like an m sport conversion with a few m4 touches like the hood is not an m4 hood it's an m4 gts hood so i'm trying trying to mimic any particular car i'm just going with body panels that i think looks the best on this car like the M Sport front bumper, I love for this car. The GTS hood is my favorite hood for this car. And then the M4 fenders are my favorite fenders. I think the only other fenders other than the wide body fenders you can go for this car. So I'm just adding pieces through every model to make this car look really good. All the pieces I think personally will make this car look amazing. I think the car is really coming together. Probably gonna have to get that bumper rewrapped down there. But hopefully in the next video, we should be able to wrap the hood and wrap the fenders. As of right now, I'm having a little of an issue actually putting on, cause you guys can see my intakes right here. This this piece will not go on right like it looks really good but I can't put it on because the intake is right next to it so I either have to trim this down a little or replace the intake which I don't know how I feel about that so I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just trim this down a little bit hopefully that will be good enough right here is my biggest issue so I'm gonna do some research to see how I can make this work probably gonna trim it like right here anywho I'll probably do this in a separate video in today's video I'm gonna go ahead and remove these guys I finally figured out how to actually remove them it's just two rivets you basically pull out pull out same on this side pull out pull out and I could transfer those over and then for the fenders I heard that you have to pretty much remove the bumper which is nothing new and i'm gonna try to work around from actually removing the side skirt so i can make this easier for me i can make it easier for you guys so i'm gonna try to remove this fender without removing the side skirt hopefully i don't have to do that because as you guys know removing the side skirt is a bunch of screws from the inner outer and i have to remove my carbon fiber side skirt extension which already has amazing 3m on there and i don't want to mess with it so i'm gonna try my absolute best to just maybe pop this out a little bit but not fully remove it i'm gonna take some pictures of the gaps and everything right now so i can uh get a better visual when I actually start putting it all together. But without further ado guys, I have one more important thing to say. Huge shout out to everyone that's purchased merch or crates or anything the past couple of days. I got all the orders out yesterday. So I got it all out, only seven packages I were not able to get out. And that's because I put them in smaller packages, but they were too small to actually be shipped in. So it's kind of a weird thing I don't know how to explain to you, but basically the, the it's the thickness is, is not okay with the whole thing. And it's not considered an envelope, it's considered like a large package. So I have to repackage it. So I'll get those out. Out Monday unfortunately it's Saturday so the post office already closed after I left I will get those out Monday but for, for most of you guys you should be getting your packages sometime this week and most of you guys already started getting your shirts the shirts and the packages are getting sent out in two separate packages too if you guys ordered both you'll be receiving both of those in two separate sets don't worry if you only got the shirt you're getting your crate as well all shirts and hoodies are sold out so shout out to you guys just absolutely destroyed it so that's it for the limited edition merch thank you for everyone purchase some and if you guys are going to be my fest this year hopefully they're open make sure to wear those shirts on I want to see you guys rocking them so you take some pictures and I'll make a little collage for the shop. I'm trying to make as much little memorable things on the shop wall as possible because all this really means a lot to me. So I really appreciate you guys for it. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and remove those things, put it on the hood, and start working on this fender right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, coming in, yeah. Flex. I just want to win. All right, guys, I went ahead and put these both on. I didn't, I didn't even adjust them yet, mainly because I think they should be the same. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it. Three, two, one. Yep, no play here and no play here. So that is awesome. I'm really happy with how this hood is. <laughs> what I really like also is that since the shocks on this car is part of the, I'm able to actually still use the hood, uh, the original hinges on this hood, which is super nice as you guys saw. I don't have to use any weird props with aftermarket hoods. This is super, actually, dude, this is so sick. I don't even know. Should I keep it like this? I mean, obviously I'm gonna wrap the whole hood, but should I keep this little gap right here? It looks really good actually, at least with that intake. I don't know, but then if a cop sees it, oh buddy. <laughs> All right, now that we got everything we pretty much need off of this, uh, this doesn't move over. I don't have the holes for all that, so I'm just gonna leave it on this hood. And this hood I might be putting up for sale. You guys are telling me to keep your OEM parts. To be honest, I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of this hood. It just fits so nice, it already looks amazing. I don't think I'm ever gonna replace this hood. So I don't think I need the original hood. So if you guys need it, space great, perfect condition, let me know your offer and I might sell it. If not, I'll just store it at the shop. But I remember when I was rebuilding my brother's car, it was super hard to come by these hoods. These hoods work on the F30, F32, um, any pretty much of the F chassis uh, 3 series and 4 series. Anywho, anywho, let's go ahead and start playing around with this fender. Hopefully we can remove it, cause that'd be great. Anywho, Anywho, let me show you guys the new fenders real quick. 
All right, guys, so this is the fender right here. I really like how they actually add all this stuff to all the edges so none of it gets scuffed up. Um, this piece actually gets included, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox that to see what else comes with this. And from looking at this rail, it doesn't look like any bolt screw in here, but from the bottom, it looks like there is a bolt, unfortunately. So I could just try to rip off the other one off the, the car, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna try to do it in the way so you guys can do it too. And then this looks like just a couple clips and hopefully I can just pop it off from the back. We will have to see. Hey, and I'm too excited. I had to show you guys what were in the other two smaller boxes. See, these came with the fenders. Um, I think these are actually part of the fender liner because once you actually remove the fender liner, those are like rivets. So I think this is a new piece to allow you to actually put in screws. So I think that's nice, I think. I'm not really too sure about those. What I really, really, really am surprised by is that these side pieces that go into there, that little piece right here, these are already pre-painted black. I, I don't know how I got this lucky. I thought they come in chrome, but I think from Souvenir, they actually paint them gloss black, which looks 10 times better. Because I was going to take these down to the shop, get them painted before I actually put them on the fenders. So I guess after we get it wrapped them, I'm going to slap these on. I'm super stoked for these. And then it's missing something here, I think. I think you're supposed to put anything there, but I'm going to have to look up what I could put and fill in right there. Because I don't like how to expose the clips. But um, we'll figure that out later. For the, for the most part, at least they're painted. That's awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and start replacing this fender. I want to slap that on so bad. Something I'm removing is this little piece right here that I told you actually comes with the kit. And uh, basically you have to break off all these rivets. Um, these are not replaceable. So once you break it off, you can pull it off. But something I noticed, there's actually, this car actually comes with arrow, which is kind of crazy. And I don't know if you guys can see my finger, but it actually directs air in here. I didn't actually know that. So this is actually like functional, which is kind of crazy, these air vents. I think that's pretty dope. But anyway, let me go ahead and uh, figure out how to take this thing off. And then we can figure out how to take off that side skirt. Okay guys, so uh, after playing with a little more, I got pretty much a screw from the back here when you open the door. I got the screw from up here. There is one screw right here from underneath the headlight. You can just get to it from like right down here. And then I removed the screw from back here. Long ratchet and the screw is like right there, right behind this and you just pop it out. And then once you do all that, um, I don't think I have to remove the side screw. You can actually see the screw right there upside down. So let me just go ahead and pop that out and I might be able to do it without having to remove this guy. That would be a miracle. So unfortunately, it looks like I do have to remove the side skirt. Maybe not entirely. Let me show you guys what I'm seeing down there. So the screw that's facing downwards on the, what's it called, the fender, um, basically, there's a plastic piece right beneath it to where you can't even get to that screw. Otherwise, we would have been able to get to it. I wish, it, I honestly just want to trim that piece so I can just get to that screw and make life a whole lot easier, but I'm not trying to do something you guys can't do. So it looks like actually my side skirt extension is actually like on the edge of the side skirt. So I won't, I won't have to remove it, thankfully. Um, so there is a few screws. I'm gonna take out like half of them right here and then I'm just gonna pop it out right here and see if I can just access the screw and that's all I need to do. I might be even just pop this like that yeah but I need to got a few screws so as you guys see I can pop that but I need to bring it out a little bit so I just need to pop a few screws and then I could just push all that back in hopefully so that's the goal let's go ahead and try that yup see I saw that you pretty much have to remove the whole side skirt which is unfortunate but again I, I honestly cannot express how happy I am that uh, you go ahead and just take off this last part right here. Oh, I think there's one screw left on there, so I'm just gonna even leave it there. But yeah, as you guys can see, the side skirt is off. I'm just gonna leave it as it is like that. I'll put one screw up here real quick, just to hold it um, while I try to remove the bolt down here. I'm gonna try to see if there's a way I can remove the bolt from another angle so I don't have to do this exact same thing on the other side. Uh, I'll go ahead and get back to you guys. I do think I figured it out. So I'm gonna show you guys on the other side how you can actually remove the fender without having to remove this whole guy right here. But um, now that we have the fender off, you do have to remove this guy. It's held on by a couple tabs. Uh, all these tabs right here, you just gotta break them loose and then you can take this whole plastic thing off. 
I got just got that plastic piece off. Let's go ahead and uh, put this on this new fender and slap this fender on. here's with the fender partially bolted um, right here it's pretty good I'm pretty happy with it um, but it gets kind of a little bit wider over here and then it has this giant gaping hole right there so I'm gonna see if I could push it up just a little bit right there and other than that it's looking really good Guys, this is how the body lines are looking so far. So it's pretty even all the way. And it has that little weird little line there, as you guys know. And then over here as well. So that looks pretty good. Uh, this isn't as flush, but I had to kind of set like it, like when you run your hand against it. Um, but I mean, the gap is really good. So that's not really too noticeable. But then this is all flush. So it was a sacrifice I had to make to make sure that's all good. So now that I have all that lined up, I'm gonna go ahead, I have this bolt in and I have this bolt in. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up both of those and then I'm gonna start piecing together the rest of this wheel well, put on this side skirt and I think we can get around uh, to the other side just by pulling this little clip down and then I can take out the screw. So I think that's what I'm gonna do on the other side. Um, wish me luck. Meantime, let's go ahead and finish up this fender. It lines up with this gap, so these gaps will both look good. Um, it's fluid all the way across, which looks also really good. Once we also get this all wrapped up, it should look a lot better. So yeah, pretty happy with the gaps. I'm pretty happy with how flush this is to that. Pretty happy with this as well. This was sticking up just a little bit, but since this is metal, I just put my, put my palm there, bent it down, and now these two are flush, so that's perfect. You wanna do that obviously last, because you don't wanna keep bending it. But uh, after I did that, it came out brilliant. And guys, check that out. Oh my god especially with the carbon fiber lip coming in i know i keep saying that uh i'll explain to you guys what happened to the second lip it already came in and something happened to it so i'll explain to you guys that in a future video shout out to brian from keys more for being the coolest guy in the world i'll explain to you my dumbass mistake and uh hopefully when that lip comes in but anywho that's looking pretty good so let's just go ahead and finish up putting all that together guys so uh that is one side down so this fender is officially done that hood is done it's looking amazing honestly i honestly can't believe how good it's looking it's looking actually too good i didn't know how i was going to feel about m4 fenders but these actually look really good the fitment's actually really well considering the price because i don't know if you guys know but i did end up buying these fenders and i bought this hood from souvenir i think he sells the fenders but they don't sell this exact hood i think i'm not sure that's why i actually ended up buying it through souvenir i normally buy my things from keys or i get thing my things from keys shout out to keys of course and they just so happen to have that hood in stock i was really looking for this hood for a long period of time and the hood is amazing anywho i'm just gonna put a full time lapse mode for the other side uh, because you guys already know what's going on so i'm gonna set you guys down and uh hopefully i don't have to remove the side skirt it would save me a whole bunch of time Alright guys, as you guys can see, I removed the second fender now, so I'm super happy I figured out a way to do it without removing the whole side skirt, because I didn't want to do that again on the other side. So all you gotta do, as you guys can see, this, screw, this is the screw you gotta get out. You're able to get to it from the wheel well. All you gotta do, this is a little plastic piece that's like sitting kind of like, it's sitting in the way of the screw, so it makes you move the whole side skirt. All I did was break that off, and I got to the screw. This serves absolutely no purpose. Like, no purpose. I just used some pliers, broke it off, you can still mount to your side skirt right here, you're perfectly good. So that's how I got it off, just do it that way, do not remove the whole side skirt. That will save you so much time. This side is officially on, the fitment's pretty good. I would, I would rate this about nine out of 10, 
On this side, I actually prefer this side more. I rate this a 10 out of 10, mainly because when you close the door, the gap just seems more natural. I think I'm gonna work on the other side, but it's nothing to do with the actual fender, just me and my gapping. And uh, right here, it's a little bit more of a dip on the fender. I think what I have to do is just bend it up. It is metal, so it's way more easier. Just go underneath there, bend it up ever so slightly, and you're fine. Body shops do this stuff all the time, especially if it's metal. They just pretty much roll it, and then they can match it up. Or I can go ahead and just readjust the fender either or this is totally fixable so I am good we're not gonna go ahead and insert these guys just yet tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and head down to the shop and get this car wrapped up so yeah the whole front end is gonna be wrapped up hopefully tomorrow I got the wrap right here we're gonna be heading down to my boys at RC restyling they pretty much wrap cars as if it's like paint they wrap so well so I'm gonna head down there and have them do it because again I'm trying to make this car as mint as possible for Beamer Fest hopefully this year it doesn't cancel hopefully it doesn't but anyways guys I'm gonna go ahead and clean up if you guys need space Spray fenders, spray skate hood, you guys hit me up. And if you guys want to support your boy, check out the link down below. So I got a couple crates in the store. So without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Smash that like button. I know today is kind of a short video, but tomorrow is gonna be a blast. So smash that like button if you guys have enjoyed. 1,200 likes, and we'll go ahead and get this thing fully wrapped up, and I'll probably release it in a day, or probably even a day. 1,500 likes, and i release it tomorrow. So 1,500 likes tomorrow, 1,200, we'll release it in two days, but it's gonna be a banger video. So without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. The, 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 the,